Hi, I'm Jeannie Garbarino, director of Rocky View Science Outreach, and I am joined by my trusty sidekick, Willow. Today, we are going to talk to you about the art of making scientific observations through pH. The art of making scientific observation isn't just about seeing. It's a lot more rigorous than that. You have to use your senses to collect information about the world around you and apply knowledge that you already have to try to figure out why is this happening? What's going on? So here I am sitting in front of this beautiful hydrangea bush. A lot of people have hydrangeas planted in their yard. And as you can see, the blooms on the hydrangea bush go from sometimes pink, sometimes blue, there's a little bit of white over there, they have this gorgeous violet and purple. Gardeners know that if they manipulate the soil conditions, they can change the outcome of the bloom color. But why? Let's go from seeing to observing. This color range looks exactly like something I have seen before in the lab. Litmus paper. And what does litmus paper measure? Well, it measures pH. pH stands for the power of hydrogen and is a scale used to determine the acidity or basicity of things dissolved in water. But what's the deal with the superpower name with hydrogen? Well, it is called the power of hydrogen because how acidic or basic something is, is entirely dependent on how many hydrogen ions are present. A higher concentration of hydrogen ions means that the solution is more acidic. A solution becomes more basic when hydrogen ions are less available. pH is a super important factor in nature. We need to maintain pH in our own bodies to ensure that our proteins function properly. So what is happening in hydrangeas? Is the resemblance to litmus paper coincidental or is it based in science? Well, as it turns out, the color of many hydrangea blooms acts as a natural pH indicator for the soil in which the plant grows. Blooms have blue sepals when the shrub grows in acidic soil, but develop red or pink sepals when grown in neutral to basic soils. In other words, hydrangea blooms are a pH indicator. For this week's science challenge, I challenge you to make your own observations of things that change in response to pH that you can find around you, either outside, in the kitchen, or maybe in the hardware store. Think about the different color schemes that the hydrangea bushes have shown. We've seen things from pink to blue and purple. What are some other things that exhibit those types of colors? Do they respond to pH? But don't get trapped into think thinking that readouts for pH are only visual. Think about other types of senses that might allow you to detect changes in pH, like your sense of smell. So use the power of observation and let us know what you find. I look forward to reading about your responses. Thank you.